The outcome of a domination match is often decided by which team can more effectively project force to where it is needed. Destroyed ships normally respawn at a significant distance from the fight, and valuable time is wasted in transit while the battle rages. This time lost to travel can be greatly reduced with a properly placed hyperspace beacon, which acts as a forward spawn point lasting 180 seconds. Type 1 bombers, which refers to both the Imperial Razor Wire and the Republic's Rampart Mark IV, are the only ships capable of deploying a hyperspace beacon. To equip it on your bomber, go to the components tab of your hangar, then open the engine section. If you haven't already purchased hyperspace beacon, use your ship requisition to do so and select it. Since the timely use of hyperspace beacon can win a domination match, it is advisable to always choose this as your engine component. The location and orientation of the beacon are determined by the pilot of the bomber. Since hyperspace beacon is an engine ability, it's deployed by pressing 3 on your keyboard. When deciding where to place your beacon, it's important to keep several factors in mind. Placing a beacon close to objects can result in the instant death of those who respawn there. Many bomber pilots are tempted to place their beacon right next to a satellite, which will often result in pilots respawning within the structure, causing damage or destroying their ship outright. Leave adequate open space around your beacon. Remember that like mines and drones, hyperspace beacons are not placed precisely where you drop them. They're ejected rearwards and drift before settling. Pilots respawning from your beacon will emerge facing the same direction you were facing when you placed it. Pointing your ship towards the action or a recognizable landmark will enable respawning pilots to quickly orient themselves and get back into the fight. Beacons can and will be destroyed by enemy weapons, but it's not necessary to hide them. Under normal circumstances, choose a location that is a bit behind the front lines or out of the way, and is roughly halfway between the two satellites your team is attempting to control. Do not waste time looking for a cool place to put your beacon. Your bomber's munitions are needed at the satellite. At the start of a match, announcing where you plan to place your beacon in ops chat can help your team focus their efforts. Imperial reinforcements are already inbound. They're going to try and activate the satellites for themselves. Once deployed, the beacon will appear to your team on the area map as a diamond-shaped spawn point that can be selected prior to launching. It will stay there for 180 seconds, or until the bomber that deployed it is destroyed. If you're playing against a team that you know to be fielding Type 1 bombers, keep your eyes open for the sphere of radiant white lines that emanate from a beacon. If you see this, or spot one as you cycle through targets, always make a point of destroying the enemy beacon. Scouts are especially valuable for quickly hunting them down and removing them. Give your team the edge it needs to win by mastering the use of hyperspace beacon.